now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Good Thursday morning, 20 minutes before the hour, and it looks like snowfall has returned to Mount Bachelor. The groomers have been at work. They're anticipating that by the end of our holiday weekend, by Sunday night, they'll have had two to four feet of fresh snow at Mount Bachelor. So the skiing this weekend will be really, really nice. Now, you need to be care careful with the fact that there'll be a lot of wind with this. It'll be a wind-driven snow. Uh, uh, so it, the conditions will be a little less than ideal, but a lot of snow on the way. That's a good thing. What's a blessing for one is a difficulty for another, and drivers are going to have a challenge, and that begins this morning. Carry chains or traction tires on government camp. Uh, Sandy M Pass requires that you use chains or traction tires and uh, carry them on the road to Mount Bachelor and on Willamette Pass. And just know that driving conditions are going to be a big challenge all weekend long. Well, for Central Oregon, we've seen a little bit of this uh, that has spread over our area. We've had some uh, mixed showers in Lapine all the way over Lava Butte. Some snow has gathered there, so watch for slick streets around Central Oregon as well. Some areas may have already seen their daytime high. Uh, we are going to see a rapid cool down because of a system that's coming in from the northwest, and it's going to change our airflow just a little bit. Right now, we are looking at some scattered mixed showers across the high desert. Rain mostly in Bend. It's 39 degrees here at the Bend Airport, and their breeze has gotten a little gentler and shifted to more of a westerly breeze. At uh, Roberts Field, uh, the rain has uh, fallen there. They, too, have seen a northwesterly shift in the wind and uh, 40 degrees. So uh, we're looking at temperatures right now that aren't too bad, but they're also right around our daytime highs for the uh, the day ahead. Storm activity from the desert southwest clear to the Canadian border. The heaviest right now is in central California. Uh, we are going to be seeing a bit of a change here for our airflow. It's instead of coming out of the southwest, it's now going to come out of the northwest. It will be just as wet and potent. It will be colder, however. So we're going to see this cool down take place for the next few days. For today, we'll look at more showers being pushed into our area. That'll be enhanced a little bit as we get into the latter portion of Friday. Overnight tonight and Friday morning, we'll get a little bit of a break while the switch is taking place. And then Friday evening, this will sock back in on us again. So we're anticipating some snowfall for Santa's arrival, and that'll be true right through Christmas Day and Sunday as well. Along with that will come quite the cool down. It starts today. It will continue over the next few days until we're actually pretty cold going through the middle of next week. Well, that is a look at your forecast. Let's take a look at the snow report. Your local alert weather snow report brought to you by Les Schwab Tire Centers. Well, chains or traction tires, you must carry them over uh, government camp and Highway 35, 56 inch base at Mount Hood Meadows, Timberline at 64 inches, five of that is new and they have a ton on the way. Ski Bowl has seen a 42 inch base, no new snow reported, but they're getting snow right now and that's true for Hoodoo as well. Uh, they'll get a lot of additions to their 39 inch base. Mount Bachelor reported four inches of new snow, they're getting more as we speak. They'll have a ton by the time this weekend is over. And uh, Willamette Pass Ski Resort, they open tomorrow for the holiday weekend.